of this uh, caldera, right? So what I'm showing you guys now is uh, an image from 1823 from the, the, the voyage of William L Reverend William Ellis, who was the first missionary to come to Kilauea. And this is a, a, a colorized uh, sketch um, the, that, was, that was done while he was here in a volcano. And kind of see outer caldera rim is way up here, right? You can kind of see there's an inner crater, another inner crater, another inner crater, and lava lake in, in the middle of it, right? So not that different from what we have going on now. The thing had actually collapsed in 1790. It was the last big explosion, the last big pit, um, after which we, we actually um, have Hawaiian oral tradition, right? The, 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 the stories that the Hawaiians tell speak of four different water bodies, four ponds at the bottom of that explosion collapse pit of 1790. So we know there was water in 1790. We know that it was refilled by 1823. Of course, we don't have any data in between there. That's a real problem with this old, old information. If you don't know what happened, how fast it was, because we don't have information from every hour, every day, like we do today, right? People would have to walk up, walk up here or ride up here on a horse um, to, and you know, it was a many day journey, a um, couple of days from Hilo, one day if you were fast at it, right? Um, so it's not something people were doing all the time. So you can kind of see, um, certainly, We've seen patterns of lava lakes refilling within collapsed pits before. Crater edge, crater edge, crater edge, crater edge right in there, right? There's a hill over here. These hills, that's probably a cinder cone. So lava probably ripped out of the crack between this caldera and made a little eruption over here. You got some black rock over here. Lava might come out of this crack at some point in time, right? So every one of these cracks is a possible pathway from magma, from the magma chamber deep underground over here. And Ellis, when he arrived, described 51 conical islands rising around the edge, of, edge or from the surface of the burning lake. 22 constantly emitted smoke or pyramids of brilliant flame and several streams of lava, which rolled in a blazing torrent into the boiling mass below. So you can I see that when a crust actually forms and gets thicker, then a the gas actually punches through there and starts making these little features that were called hornitos, and they put out a bunch of gas and they can shoot out lava as well. But kind of moving on, I'm going to show you guys a series of maps here, right? This is the, this is the map view of that same image we just saw here. So these are all these little hornitos, all these little vents on a crust of the lava lake. And you have a bigger lava pit kind of more in here, right? And essentially a big area where you have activity inside the biggest collapse pit. There's one collapse pit there, then another one over here, right? And then the actual caldera wall being kind of like this, going around more this way like that, right? He's actually part of the caldera there. Yep, so, all right. Stepping forward to 1841. So you guys can kind of see, oh, I'm going to go back and forth here, right? This is kind of the best approximations we have, right? You can kind of see a similar pattern. We've now refilled a lot of the bottom of that pit, right? And, but we still have within a pit here and another crater, another crater here, right? And so in between here, to get this, these areas of this wide black ledge, quite often you have to have the lava come up and spill over and flow out in every direction from that hole. And then later afterwards, after all the lava has come out of the ground, driven by the gas, a bottle of champagne, essentially it's burping, it's releasing the gas, and you know, the gas is driving it out, so the lava then is on top, and then you might have some space where the lava just came from, and so that area might collapse a little bit, and so you actually have quite often these kind of collapse pits within the middle, and then within, within some time, lava comes back in and refills them, and it actually um, flattens the ground again, so you kind of have a layer, layers of flat ground or refill area eras, and these kind of cliffs indicate collapse eras in between, right? So that's fascinating to 1841, 1846. Right? You kind of see not that different. Um, the whole interior is kind of being filled in. And you can kind of see that that lava is forming a pit and it's almost up to the edge of this rim. That's what, what this notation is showing us over here. We're going to skip forward to 1861. And by now, we no longer see any pit anymore, right? A little bit of, of a cliff edge over here, a little bit over there, right? Um, we now have a mound over the lake, right? This is forming a small lava shield and profile. It looks something like that. And so this kind of can feed flows that'll go down off of this hill into other areas of the caldera until they come against some kind of cliff. So like on this west side, it can't really go that far. But to the northeast, it can go quite a distance as well until it hits some other cliff perhaps, right? So 1874, we have a big collapse pit in here now. And so once again, we have these cycles of collapse and and uh, uh, our next update, um, if we have a chance, uh, maybe maybe a couple updates from now, um, because we'll have to catch up. We'll go through the actual collapse cycles, what we know about collapses, how often things collapse, and how fast they refill in more detail. For now, I want to give you guys more of a visual history, right, in the map area. 
And this is the first temple map we have from 1919 of Kilauea Caldera. And here we have an elevated hill of Hale Mau Mau. You guys can't see these contours, right? But this is actually showing about 3,800 feet elevation, right? That's taller than over here, right? So the top of this hill in this, in this temple map is taller than over here. And so at this point, if it fills up enough, it can kind of fill to the point where it might overtop this wall. And if it spills out of the caldera, the whole thing, the place that does that is over here. Now, that was much more likely in the, in the 1920s. Um, and that's totally impossible now because you have so many holes to fill before we actually get to that point in time. So I want to point out there's a, a fantastic book, Rest of Geology of Hawaii by Rick Hazlitt and um, Donald Hinman. And in there, where they have kind of a similar kind of summary over here, you can kind of see 1823, 1829, 1832, different ways and kind of different different images um, of the evolution of this crater over time, right? You can kind of see collapsed, refilled, collapsed, refilled, collapsed, refilled. Then it's a big um, shield pit flowing over, and then there was another kind of explosion in 1924, and then. By 71, it was kind of essentially refilled once again. So the pattern of collapse, refilled, collapse, refill, collapse, refilled is all is a very normal thing, right? So we're seeing that happening right here today. So kind of zooming in on the, the 1924, uh, that kind of that hill of Hale Mau Here's like a view of it kind of um, drawn on a table map, different uh, um, margins of it. So this is showing 1892. It was actually like this, 1886. It was farther back over here. 18, later in 1892, it was over here. 1906, it was right in here, right? So it's kind of closing in. It was kind of freezing from the edges and closing in tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter as it went higher and higher and higher, right? And so this little cross section here on the right shows us, you know, how it filled in from down here at 600 feet more or less to 1,200 feet. 600 feet that it filled in um, within that conduit right within that pit that was growing over there and so what does that look like today right so this is a map a geologic map of the summit of the volcano uh before the collapse right and so this is showing this is a it was active lava lake 2018 here's where it spilled over onto the floor of high mama crater that's this red blob right in here um this pit over here is high mama crater that was where the explosion 1924 blasted out that smaller vent that was a lava lake conduit blasted it out over the course of two weeks of explosions and widened it by four times and made it four times deeper and made that big crater which afterwards was refilled with lava the floor over here is 1974 so lava came back into this crater also many 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 times we'll show you guys a little bit of that, that history as well but every one of these different colors over here is a different spillover from this old hill that used to be in this place in 1888 things spilled over in this direction over here in 1892 it spills over this way and leaves this mark right in 1918, it spills over over here. 1921, it spills over over here. Over this way as well. Over this way as well. Right? 1919 is this huge, huge, huge one all over here. That's 1919. Spillover, right? You can kind of see older ones kind of buried. 1882 to 85, way over here, right? So all this recent stuff from 54, 75, 54, 21 is all kind of covering this 82 stuff, the oldest part. Right? And we have 1971, we have 1974, and we have more off the map in that direction I'm not showing you guys, but kind of all these are all different overflows of the lava lake over time that have kind of been preserved on the crater floor. Um, before the collapse, and then since the collapse, now they've all shifted around, some pieces are missing, here's what's actually left. So we kind of still have chunks of those overflows on this downdrop block over here. There's a little bit of 1888, a little bit of 1882 that's kind of cut off by this big cliff. Another part of it's up here right now, yeah? Or 1919 is cut off pieces here, and the rest of it's up here. Another part of 1919 is down here. It's kind of been been divided, right? You have 1921 over here, right? And likewise, you have chunks kind of all over the place. So that's what it looks like now, as far as the follow-up on that, right? So.